welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add ads.txt to squarespace site let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here on squarespace just click on the create account option in the upper right corner so that you can continue with google or you can continue with a business or working email but you know what just click on the more options here so you can continue with apple your facebook and just following the on-screen instructions you are all set now once you are here adding an ads.txt file to your squarespace site is a straightforward process basically ads.txt is also known as authorized digital sellers it is an iab approved standard that helps ensure that your inventory is only sold through authorized sellers now here's how you can add ads.txt to your squarespace site so number one you need to create or obtain your ads.txt files now if you're using an ad network or platform which is in my case i am using google adsense in this situation right now if you wanted to create an ad text here in google sense all you're gonna do is just go here at google dot google adsense just click on the get started option and just follow again on the on-screen instructions and you're all set now once we're back in the google adsense if you need to create your ads.txt file manually you can do so using a text editor like notepad windows or text edit for mac now the file should contain lines or text listing the authorized sellers for your site now in this case just go to the left side panel of your dashboard click on the sites and from here as you can see there's the ads.txt status click on it now if your site doesn't have an ads.txt files you can create one basically as you can see your publisher id must be included and form formatted correctly for your ads.txt file to be verified now from here all i'm going to do is create a text.txt file using a plain text editor such as notepad windows or text edit using your mac and then you need to sign into your adsense account now if you happen to see that there's an alert on your home page click fix now otherwise click sites and then click the site with the not found ads.txt status right now depending on your sites and their ad text status you might have several verification options to choose from say for example you can select the ads.txt snippet option and then you need to click copy and paste the line of feature ads.txt files and now your ads.txt file should now appear like this one right here okay it's a very easy and from here if you're using another ad network remember to add that network to your ads.txt files contract to add network for your ads.txt information and again all you're gonna do is upload your uh, ads.txt files to the root directory of your site which is on squarespace now the root directory of a site is the directory of folder following the top level domain now let's get to our squarespace now once we are here in the uh, squarespace site go to the website that you are working on now for you to be able to do that go to the upper right corner of your account profile and click on dashboard and from here you need to select the website or the uh, built-in domain from your squarespace maybe on this one click on it and for us to be able to add the ads.txt file we need to go to the edit section or the editor and from here we can basically put something like now just go to the left side panel of your dashboard click on the pages and click on maybe um on the about section or in this situation the new page option right now from here you can simply add something like um a menu bar right here okay click on it maybe let's add for a new menu bar that's gonna be around here see an about section say this one let's click on it and we can simply now say for example this is where we want to add the text file right here now all you're gonna do is highlight this one right and then click on the link right here you have to remember 
highlight the ads.txt file click on the link and you would have the option to get a url but also there's a file email and phone and all i'm going to do is click on file and from here you can open link in new tab or search file but the thing is we just we are going to upload the ads.txt file right here in this option and as you can see the ads.txt are already uploaded right now once you've done that all i'm going to do is paste and basically that's how you add ads.txt to your squarespace website now there's also other um forms like you go you need to go to the advanced settings we're in um from there now again you need to go to the settings developer tools and look for the url mappings which is this one click on it now from here we can paste something like this one right because from here everything your primary domain in the url associated with their link that you had copied earlier and of course you need to leave a space after the end and then enter 301 to signal that this is going to be a redirect right that is after adding the ads.txt to your squarespace website now, once you've saved that, you should have a URL map similar to what we have done earlier. Now, obviously, I'll, I'll, you need to click on save. And then, I believe uh, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.